Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about Avengers Endgame. I've just ended up watching the movie here in Houston, Texas, Regal Cinemas. The movie is on a stretch 3 hour long. Yes, 3 hour long and that too without a break. In US it's not like India that you get a break. There's no interval here. So a movie 3 hour long movie on one stretch. The first half if we talk according to indian standards because there is always a first half in india is very lengthy boring and slow yes this is not expected from avengers but it's a harsh reality in order to make the movie real or regroup the earlier part the makers have the director the makers have taken it way too long to build up a story the real action which is associated with avengers is missing in the first half in a country like india it could go very negative because by the time interval will come the the audience will feel cheated that this is not the avenger we were expecting you have to be emotionally connect with this franchise since beginning like these americans are then you can sit out for all three hours and wait for the action to begin because here the audience was very very much thrilled and excited to see their stars come back in the end coming back to the story for me it's based on three central characters iron man captain america and thanos the negative guy these three characters form the entire movie in this part there are some very emotionally fantastic scenes in the second half like when spider-man comes in front of iron man for the first time that emotional stuff for few seconds will give you goose goosebumps the claps from the audience really tells you how connected these people are with with the avenger franchise thanos is very strong emotionally too he looks really strong he is built this tough he can beat 50 guys at a time that's all together different i'm talking about his emotional acting that's something to look out in this part too it was in the earlier part too but in this he has gone a notch higher iron man has stood out from rest of all number 2 it's captain america and then thanos after that i think in supporting roles hulk is good in patches and so is thor the two daughters of thanos they don't have much to do in this part as they had in the earlier part they don't have much to do overall i'll give two and a half stars to this movie yes my rating is bit disappointing because first half is really lengthy and boring at and it takes the breath out of you it really takes the breath out of you 3 hours is a long movie to watch in a stretch second half is very entertaining very thrilling fun to watch but for that missing part in the first half i'll just stick with my two and a half stars business rating i need not give any business rating to this record breaker a movie which has done 1200 crore business on day one thursday night what what else you want from it 107 million dollars on day one in china that is unbelievable 55 crore opening on day one in india i am out of breath this movie is going to break lot of records Avengers has eventually come to an end. Americans are emotionally attached with this franchise. They are sad to see their heroes this run of their heroes the, this biggest ever franchise coming to an end. Until and unless the Marvel Comics comes up with an idea to make a new story with these same guys. There's a tragic end to Iron Man in the end. I know I'm being a spoil sport but kuch to plan up I have to say something in this movie review. Two and a half stars rating. No need for any business rating. Die Hard Avenger fans go and watch this movie, but don't expect way too much. People who are thinking that it would be out of the world, first half is really boring and lengthy. I am warning you in advance. Your friend, your guide, your host, the brand Amit Datta, bids you goodbye.